Is it possible that an alien spacecraft flew above Stephenville, Texas in January of 2008? Before you decide for yourself, you should know that more than 200 witnesses all agree that it happened. After the incident, investigators from America's largest UFO network, MUFON, held a town hall meeting, and they couldn't believe the incredible turnout. Considering the hundreds of attendees, this could potentially be the single largest mass UFO sighting in history. Hundreds of people that came as witnesses and other people just spectators, but lots of people had the same exact story that we had. Over the course of three hours, the townspeople all shared similar stories of what they saw on the night of January 8th. Retired Air Force Navigation Specialist James Hughes was among those who spoke. He too had seen the lights in the sky, but never went public after facing ridicule from his coworkers. I told all these people who had seen the UFOs that were helping to back me up. And this was important because after being accused of lying about these UFOs and making this all this story up, to see all these other people who had seen these UFOs at night was really reassuring. In addition to the hundreds of witnesses who gave their stories at the meeting, many more stayed home, fearing damage to their reputations. Today, some of them have finally decided to come forward. I didn't go to that meeting that they had in 2008 because I was scared. I was a kindergarten teacher at the time, and I didn't want the, the parents to think I was crazy. It was like this, a round thing, but it looked like it's sitting on the ground. And then it just disappeared, and my mother seemed to think that it uh, was behind trees or clouds, and there weren't any. I see these lights, they come in and then just it's just and I thought, wow, you know, that's not common. I definitely believe it was something from out of this world. I've seen jets break the sound barrier and that'll that'll cause some ruckus. Uh, I've seen airplanes pretty high up, little bitty airplanes pretty high up and you can hear them uh, very loudly. The way that first craft took off, I've never seen anything go that fast and not make any noise. It's clear that something large and unknown flew above Stephenville that night. The question is, what was it? And could it possibly be alien in nature? The Air Force does a lot of training out in the area, because countryside, so. Uh, we're used to seeing a lot of jets, helicopters, and everything like that, but to this day, I have no idea what I saw, and I have no idea what made the light that I saw that night. I was accused of fabricating this story, but I did not. It just made me more determined to prove that this story was real. After his time in the Air Force, James had a career as an electronics technician, and he was confident he could find proof of the Stephenville encounter. When something is spotted on radar, everything in the sky has a transponder number that is above a particular altitude. In other words, the raw radar data from the night of the incident should hold all the proof of what happened that night. So I demanded that they get the radar records, look at them, and see that I was telling the truth. Unfortunately, the military refused to release the uncensored flight logs from its planes. It also claimed to have lost the radar records from January 8th. Unfortunately, the Air Force declined to give us the information that we needed to prove that the UFOs were here. It does seem that the UFOs here were being covered up. <laughs> 